Now, your forecast from Fox 56 News, the weather authority. All right, back edge of the rain for now is starting to nudge into central Kentucky here. Uh, what you see is that uh, still good coverage of rain, though. Leading edge of it now inching closer and closer to Jackson. We've already been on the air for over an hour and it still has not made it in there yet. That's how slow it's moving east. Now the back edge of it dry for now in Lawrenceburg. Maybe some drizzle or sprinkles around Frankfort, uh, but drying out into a good part of Scott County and even into western Mercer and western Boyle. But what will happen is by later today, we'll see more showers later this morning down in Tennessee that develop and then ride back to the north. So it may temporarily shut off where you are, but generally it's going to come back. All right, before the day's through. Here's a live check up in Paris where the rain continues to fall. Look at the roads. They are wet. Ponding of water out there. Slow down. Allow some extra time. Also take that umbrella and rain jackets with you this morning. Now it is mild, so at least we have that going for us. Yes, it's cool, but comparatively speaking, average lows should be in the upper 30s. So we are we are way above that, all right, into the 50s this morning. Wider view, cold front still way west. So this is why I'm saying there will be initial uh, development, more showers that do develop. You can see rain goes all the way down to the state, uh, down into Mississippi and Alabama and down to the Gulf Coast. Now on the back side of this, we're going to wrap in some cooler air and that's not really until we get into tomorrow though. So for today, you can see we go through time. Yep, waves of rain work across the state, but the deeper we go into the afternoon and definitely into the evening, the widespread rains out and we do see some peaks of sun. The more sun that we see between the morning rain and the break that we start to see, that obviously means it will get warmer. I still think it's mainly going to be into the low and mid 60s. If we get a little more sun, it could get warmer than that. Just the opposite. If we don't see any breaks between this morning rain and before the cold front sweeps through, some places may not get out of the upper 50s. Pretty tricky setup, but I do think we get some peaks of sun. So what you need to know about today and why it's the next big thing is wet going to impact your day. Storms, yes, some rumbles of thunder, and the severe threat is not this morning. It's not this uh, midday. It would be if any of these showers with the front have the ability to kind of tap into a little bit more energy and can produce some gusty winds. I still think that greatest risk is in Ohio and Indiana, but I can't rule out an isolated strong storm late afternoon and into the evening. It's a small chance. It's actually very small. Again, today, if we do not see any breaks between the morning rain into the cloud cover, that is from the morning rain to the afternoon, a spotty shower chance will struggle to get to 60. We look at your Wednesday sun and clouds, a chillier day. We're only in the 50s for sure there. More sunshine in the 50s Thursday, and then we're warming it up as we head toward the weekend.